Here we are in California in the hotel room. Say hi. hi. Say hi, Jen. <laughs> Jessica, say hi. Say hi, Whitey. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. Yeah. All right. I'm saying hi to the, my YouTube family. Hey, I'll talk to you guys from anywhere I'm at. That's what's great. Remember, I plan on traveling around the world and giving you updates for wherever I'm at, right? I want to live for now because remember, tomorrow's not promised. So here I am in the bathroom. I'm doing a quick video for you guys while the, while the kids are watching TV and taking a nap, as you saw, my boy Jed. But anyways, some questions you guys had, I wanted to answer them, okay? So number one, I had some comments about UiPath. What do, what's my price prediction at the end of the year? And remember guys, anyone can give a price prediction. No one truly knows what's gonna happen. And that's why, again, remember if you're a short-term trader, don't try to predict, you react to what the market gives you, right? And take advantage of those opportunities. But if I had to guess, if there's an interest rate cut, that's the big thing. There has to be an interest rate cut. That is what has to happen for this price target I'm about to give, okay? I at least see it going up to $16, $17 a share by the end of the year, okay, if there's an interest rate cut, which right now we're on track for September because of lighter than expected PCE inflation on Friday. Of course, that narrative can change down the road, but we've seen several inflation reports in a row now, so that's a good sign. So hopefully the Fed will cut in September. If not that meeting, I would think the one after that, okay, in case they wanna make sure, right? So then, so UiPath, that's my price target. And then Mike Ron, I had some questions on this one, so right now the SOX, right, the semiconductor index is taking a breather because Micron did not raise their guidance. And because they didn't raise their guidance, it's going to chop around in a range for a while, most likely. But like I said, this is a great long-term hold, guys. And this is the time to accumulate shares on any dips. If it does go in the 120s, that's a great time to keep adding more because eventually it will break out again, guys. But it's gonna take a little bit because they didn't raise guidance. Could could last until the next earnings report. I expect it to start climbing before the next one. Because of that conservative guidance they put out, I believe they're gonna beat that and raise the next time. Or they could do the same thing where they just have inline guidance and then maybe the stock takes a breather again. Okay, but leading up to earnings, I think it's one you wanna be in and have accumulated shares by then, okay? And then Micron, or sorry, Nvidia, so NVIDIA is one you want to keep holding long, guys. Again, this is the same thing. They're, they need a catalyst, right, to go up to the next level. So right now it could consolidate and take a breather for a bit. But the great thing, remember this with NVIDIA, a lot of people don't talk about this, is all the cash flow that they have gushing in right now, they have to do something with that cash and they're not able to acquire companies because of regulators watching that. It's gonna be very hard for them to ever make an acquisition. So what they're gonna end up doing with most of their money is they're gonna buy back their own shares, which is really good, remember, for shareholders. Because remember, when a company buys back their own shares, it reduces the shares outstanding. So you own more of the company and that causes the stock price to go up. Okay, that's like the mega caps, they're all buying back their own shares. That's why the price keeps going up the stock and while they'll continue to go up. So don't forget that. NVIDIA will probably also continue to raise its dividend over time. Another place they'll put some cash. But again, it's never going to be a high dividend, okay? But so that's the nice thing about NVIDIA is their shareholders are going to get rewarded holding this company long, guys. And you don't want to mess, don't want to second guess it. NVIDIA is leading this AI boom. Their next Blackwell chip, guys, is a game changer. That's going to solidify them as number one, in my opinion, for a very long time, okay? It's going to be hard to dethrone NVIDIA with the lead that they have, right? Their market share, even these big companies that are doing their own chips are gonna be behind NVIDIA because they have a new chip coming out every year, okay? So that's why you can have confidence in NVIDIA. And remember the Omniverse, they haven't even really grown that yet, which, you know, the digital twins, the whole automotive sector, so in all the industries they can get in with their AI, just don't forget about the big picture because this is gonna make you wealthy, especially if you bought NVIDIA a while ago, just keep holding in your long-term account. The short-term account, like I said, if you want to play it bigger and you, you can get out more shares before the next earnings report, that makes sense in case right, they come up shorter. They don't raise guidance as much as initially thought because of the law of large numbers, right? They're going to be comparing off of pretty big numbers from last year. I still think they're going to beat and raise, but it might not be as big as some investors are expecting, and that could cause a sell-off. But again, that could be temporary, guys, too. So buy the dips along the way. I will not bet against NVIDIA. That's the main thing. Until it breaks you know, a few support levels or something, big news comes out, negative, I would just keep riding this guy's up because it can generate wealth for you. 
So those are the three I wanted to talk about today, guys. Okay. If you have any other questions about stocks, drop me a line, drop me a comment. I appreciate the likes and keep sharing this with other people. Okay. I'm here to help the world guys. And like I said, live for today, live in the now because tomorrow is not promised guys.